Hello Year 3, happy Friday. Today's date is the 5th of March 2021 and our learning objective today is to apply comprehension skills. So we are going to read another fable, so that's our third fable of the week. And then we're going to answer a few comprehension questions at the end about the fable. <clears throat> the comprehension questions will be based on our VIPERS. So let's go over what they stand for, what VIPERS stands for. The V in VIPERS is for vocabulary. I for inference, which we have been doing this week. We've been using our inference skills. P is to predict. So that is to make a guess about what will happen next. The E is to explain. R is to retrieve. So that is the ability to take key information from a text. And the S is for summarize. So that is when you can write in a short sentence what you have just read. So vipers, vocabulary, infer, predict, explain, retrieve, summarize. Our final fable of the week then is the goose that laid the golden eggs. <clears throat> there once was a very poor farmer. So poor he lived in an old tumble-down pigsty in the middle of nowhere with only acorns and the odd goose egg to eat, and a bale of straw for his bed. His name was Atticus Grebe. Now, Atticus Grebe hadn't always been poor. He'd inherited a large and prosperous farm from his father, and he'd owned land as far as the eye could see. But Atticus Grebe was a lazy man. He didn't like to work. I'm far too good to be milking cows, he said. I should be lord of the manor with servants and footmen and heaps of silver and gold. So over the years, instead of working for a living, he'd simply sold off his possessions. He'd sold almost everything his father had given him. His house, his land, his horses, his pigs, his cattle, and all he was left with was one single goose who lived with him. Oh, what is to become of me, wailed Atticus late one night. I have no house, no food, and no money, and nothing left to sell. I shall surely starve. And then he looked at his goose. It's no good honking at me, goosey. It's off with you to the market tomorrow. You haven't laid an egg in weeks, and your feathers will fetch me a fair few guineas. And off he went to sleep. The next morning Atticus Grebe awoke to a glittering dawn. It was so light and bright he had to shield his eyes. But it wasn't the sunlight shining. He could hardly believe what he saw. It was a gigantic, glorious golden egg. You clever girl, ha ha ha, ho ho, we'll be rich, rich beyond our wildest dreams. So off he went to market, pushing the egg in an old wheelbarrow, and back he came with a barrow full of meat to cook, chicken feed for his goose, and a huge bag of coins. Oh, how I wish I had money to buy a horse-drawn carriage, he said, patting his full tummy that night. That's what I need to be happy. Well, the very next morning, the same thing happened. There was another shiny golden egg lying beside the goose. So off went Atticus to market, and with the money he got, he bought a smart black carriage and six sleek horses. And every day, the same thing happened. And every day, Atticus grieved, counted his money, and wished for more and more. But as fast as the little goose could lay a golden egg, Atticus grieved wanted more. Why can't you lay more eggs each day? We need more, we need more, I say. Soon the farmer became a very rich man indeed. But as he grew rich, he grew greedy. And still he wanted more. And then he had an idea. How I wish I could have all the golden eggs at once, he thought. Instead of just one a day, then I would surely be happy. So the next morning he ordered his cook to kill the goose and open it up so he could take out all the eggs at once. But of course, to his horror... There was nothing inside the poor goose, and there would be no golden eggs again. And Atticus Grebe ended up back in his tumbledown pigsty just where he belonged. Those who have plenty want more, and so lose all they have. Here are the comprehension questions for this fable. The first one is, what was the name of the farmer? Then we have, why is the farmer poor? What other adjective could be used instead of large? What evidence is there that the farmer planned to sell his goose? So this is a what evidence is there question. Um, 
and we have been doing that type of question throughout the week. Why didn't the farmer sell the goose? Question six, what evidence is there that the golden eggs are heavy? Question seven, who killed the goose? Question eight, why did the farmer want the goose killed? Question nine, what word could be used instead of happy in the story? And the last question, question 10, what do you think would happen to the farmer if he had a hundred golden eggs? Do you think he would be satisfied or how do you think, what do you think would happen to him? Where would he end up? So that is your assignment for today, guys. It should be up on Teams now. And I look forward to your answers. See you soon.